We are at the moment coming to the end of a big five year funded project um, by the HRC called Editing Robert Burns for the 21st Century and the project has underpinned the research for the first five volumes of a new Oxford edition of the works of Robert Burns edited by Jerry Carruthers here at Glasgow. What we wanted to do was explore what it would have meant for people in Burns' day to have bought these songs. So they were quite expensive to buy and they generally were marketed um, either to be on the shelf as a kind of uh, repository of Scott's song or to be played by people in their front rooms. We were trying to kind of recreate something of an idea of how the songs would have sounded. People love Burns' songs for all the right reasons. I mean, they are just, you know, fantastic. And we hear them in a whole load of guises now. I mean, if we go on, if you searched on YouTube, you can hear Burns done any which way. Uh, and very often people don't know that Burns' songs were mostly created or collected for big collections of printed songs. So people don't really know what those sounded like and they don't really know that bit of Burns' background because the songs have been kind of taken out of that context and have become, uh, you know, what they are to people today, which is a bit of everything, really. The main clientele, I think, for this, this was people who had a bit of cash um, and they would have nice drawing rooms and they would be able to afford a square piano or a harpsichord and they would have friends who were learning instruments at that time. So it, it is very much for the middle classes and that's something which is also very unattractive uh, for the vast majority of Burns lovers who really just want things right back. They just want the melody with, or they just want a singer with a fiddle and the songs work beautifully that way. I mean, I, I mean there's no denying the songs work beautifully that way. Often they work best that way but that's not how they originally appeared. So I suppose we're, we're opening up what is probably a little bit of a controversial area and not everybody will like these settings. We haven't recorded them so that people will like them, but we've recorded them because that's what they are. And, uh, and just to see them in print didn't bring them alive enough um, for, for a 21st century listener or, or you know, somebody interested in Burns today.